Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is an unboxing of a bag that I've wanted for a little while but have never really thought about actually going and investing in because I am just not a really big spendy person when it comes to designer. Like I know that sounds a bit hypocritical because I do have like the odd expensive piece here and there but when it comes to kind of investing into things, I would rather go on a holiday than buy like a pair of shoes or a bag. But recently you may or may not have seen on my channel that I hosted an event at the Icon which is the outlet at the O2 Arena and they very kindly gave me a gift card as part of my thank you I guess for doing the talk and I spent that gift card on an Aspinall bag which is one that I've kind of seen in passing and I wouldn't necessarily say that I really wanted it but it was one that I'd seen a few times and I liked the look of it and I thought it was a really great practical kind of good everyday bag I guess you could say because I think when I invest into designer or think about designer I don't think about like the everyday aspect of it I just think about whether I really like the bag or not and this one's one that I really love but that also is really good for every day. So it kind of kills two birds with one stone. And obviously buying it at the outlet made it a bit cheaper. So I'm gonna show you the bag and like unbox it on camera because I haven't actually got it out of the bag yet. It's literally still wrapped up from yesterday, ready to go. I'm filming this quite far in advance. So I think you're seeing this about four weeks after I've actually unboxed it. So you've probably seen it a few times on Instagram and stuff since then. Yeah, this is basically my second Aspinall bag. So I already own the Aspinall Mayfair bag, which I did an unboxing of about a year ago, which is the first first ever kind of designer piece that I ever invested into and I also have the pass holder which I'm going to show you now quickly so I have the little card holder here this is one I actually bought yesterday so this is just the kind of powder blue which matches my nails and my car and like my favorite color so I thought it was worth getting one of these and these were 38 pounds in the outlet but I do also have the black version of this which is black croc to match my Mayfair bag so I figured I can keep that with that bag keep this with this bag because the lining of this bag is this color and I just love it so yeah I've already got those and then I've got like travel wallets and stuff from Aspinall so it's a bag that I've really bought into it's very like British heritage I really really like the brand the styles are amazing it's very like classic minimal and just like beautiful bags um, and the men's stuff in there is also really really great so they have some great like laptop bags and rucksacks and stuff which my friend Sam actually owns a few of and they're really really beautiful so definitely worth kind of looking into and having a browse even if you're buying for a guy because guys love Aspinall and stuff too but yeah I thought I would just go ahead and open this with you now um I'm not going to sit and waffle I feel like unboxings you could sit and waffle but I want to get straight to the point because that's just what I do um so first things first let's get rid of the ribbon um, the one thing I really like about buying designer actually, this sounds so stupid, this is exactly why they do it because people love like the luxurious edge, but I love that your receipt comes in like a little thing like this, so it's just really well presented. And I actually have a little pile in my desk drawer of all my little receipts for designer goods because I think if anything was to go wrong with my like belts or my bags or my shoes or anything, I've got the little pile so I could see if I could get it fixed or even just to prove when I bought it if I need to get my shoes resold or something. But anyway, sidetracking. This is the bag comes in a giant dust bag as always um i don't actually keep mine in these i probably should but for now i haven't been i need to actually find them all and then put all my bags back into them um but these are really really super soft ones as well so i actually don't tend to put my camera in a camera bag i just pop it in a dust bag if we're going out shooting for the day okay let's open this up oh satisfying Oh my god, okay, the bag is literally covered in the dust from the dust bag. Um, okay. <laughs> so this is the bag that I picked from Aspinall, and this is the Slouch Saddle Bag, which originally retails at £595. However, I picked this up in the outlet for £185, which is a really, really affordable price. Definitely a good bargain compared to the full price stock, and I've actually got the Aspinall website up just before filming this video, and they do still have it on the Aspinall website. It's currently 262 on there, and they also have a blue and a tan version as well. However, if you go into shop or you go into outlets and stuff, they do have a variety of different colours. This was just kind of my preference. So. The reason I love this bag, um, I'm gonna start from the beginning. I considered buying the smaller version of this at first and I was really keen on it, I really liked it, I liked the size of it, it was a bit more structured. Um, basically exactly the same bag but more structured and a slightly more kind of textured feel to the bag. And the only reason I didn't get it is because if I'm out shooting and stuff, I want to be able to fit my camera and my phone and everything into one bag. And this fits my camera, my phone and everything into it, whereas the other one didn't because I actually have the iPhone um, XS Max and it is quite a big phone. So it definitely needs to be able to fit really nicely into a bigger bag, shall we say. If you watch my Marc Jacobs unboxing, you will know that that bag is 
positively the smallest thing I own and it still fits quite a lot in it but I definitely need like a bigger chunkier bag for other occasions um so the bag itself obviously it looks a bit like this this is the really smooth leather which the woman in the shop was saying to me is really easily cleanable with mink oil so you basically buy like a little tin of mink oil and just rub it on and it gets all the scratches out of leather it kind of helps to stress it nicely so obviously leather ages really beautifully anyway but it just kind of gives it a little bit of a finish so really really lovely touch that she mentioned that because I never would have known and my previous Aspinall bag is very scratched so definitely needs some of that um, so to talk you through the kind of exterior, it's got this cute little clasp here with the gold detailing and just says Aspen on the front and on the side and then to open the bag you just pop that out and then open like so and I didn't actually realise until getting the website up just now but you can actually get your initials monogrammed onto this bit which I really would have done if I'd have known in the shop but I'm tempted to take it back into the store in, I want to say it's on like Regent Street-ish wherever the Aspinall flagship is that they do the monogramming in London, there is one um, I'm going to go back and get my initials just popped on here because I think it would be a really cute touch um, and then on the back here you have the Aspinall of London England little patch here which is kind of like a card holder very very handy if you're a commuter but also these fit really nicely into them so I tend to just like pop that in there when I'm walking around London and then I just kind of use it for the tube really easily I've just got like mink oil everywhere because <laughs> we basically rubbed this in mink oil because I got it monogrammed and it's going everywhere um but yeah really cute little feature I love that that's on the back as well because even if I'm carrying the bag the wrong way by accident it still kind of looks nice um, and then to talk about the finishing, so it's got gold hardware obviously, really really beautiful, I love gold and black together. And this is the kind of shorter strap, which is a bit of a chunkier strap, really easy for slinging over your shoulder or just holding in your hand or over your arm etc. And then inside there is also another strap that they give you with the bag. So this is the other one, which as you can see is just a little bit longer and it's also adjustable. So you can make it shorter or longer for your preference. So if you wanted it as like a one shoulder bag or a crossbody or however you fancied it, you can do that and it fits on really nicely as well. It's got the really gorgeous little hardwares again. Um, the one thing I do love about Aspinall actually is that they do the different straps and stuff, which I know most designer brands do, but it's nice to have the option so that if I'm going on like a city break or something, I can just pop this one on and then use that around. But if I want the shorter handle one, obviously I can do that instead or put both on or whatever I fancied. And then inside is this gorgeous blue, which I mentioned to you a minute ago. So it matches my little card holder perfectly. And I love the fact it's blue. Like Aspinall very typically has red inside their black bags, which is obviously a luxurious look. Um, but I really like the fact it's got the blue and I'm just going to pull out all of this paper and just show you the kind of inside of the bag. So this is what it looks like. It's got the big zip pocket here, which is really, really big and spacious. Perfect for kind of storing any change or anything. Like I tend to put change or like bits of jewellery and stuff in the back pocket or like receipts and stuff if I'm out and about because where I'm self-employed obviously receipts and stuff need to be kept so they go in there. Um, and then it's got these two really big pockets at the front which actually are big enough for my iPhone to fit in so that's really handy because I can just kind of slot that in there and it doesn't get lost in the bottom and then the actual general space of the bag is huge so I can fit my camera I could fit my like sunglasses my phone etc in here really easily and it'll just fit nicely which I think is a great feature because there's so many bags on the market that you can't really fit cameras and stuff into which I know isn't necessarily a requirement for every single person but even if it's not a camera that you've got and it's like your diary or something, it's nice to just know that you've got the space to pop it in. And also it's got this little magnet fastening as well, which is really handy if you are just closing the bag up to kind of easily close it. I don't know, I don't know how else you'd word it, but I really love this. I think it's such an adorable little style and it's the kind of bag that I'll use every single day, but also as like a kind of... I don't know I want to say it was like a treat myself purchase but it was also kind of like a well done because it's the first time I've ever done like a public speaking thing and I was so terrified so that's basically why I got it but it is going to be a really gorgeous everyday bag I feel like this is the kind of thing that even in 10 years time I will still have in my wardrobe it might not get used as much but it will still be there and it will still be used and it will have that gorgeous like distressed look that leather gets whereas right now it's like absolutely pristine um it'll just get that really nice finish to it and I'm definitely going to be treating it with like the mink oil and stuff like the shop assistant said because it's really the kind of bag that you want to keep looking nice um and the other feature I've just noticed which I hadn't mentioned yet is that it's got the little feet on the bottom which are also gold so when you pop it down on the floor it's obviously a little bit a little bit more protected and it's just a cute little detail like it's such a gorgeous bag that I honestly I'm so in love with it I think it's the perfect size for me and I'm just so excited to actually take it out and about and use it and just spend some time loving the bag like I don't name my bags or anything I know some people do they're all she's they're all looked after and I love them all so much but yeah that's like the first 
bigger designer bag, I guess you could say, because the other ones I own are quite small, apart from my Loewe basket bag, which isn't really an everyday bag. It's kind of more of a summer bag or like if I'm going away on a holiday to the beach or something, whereas this one's more of like a you could use it all year round bag. Um, but yeah, that's basically, that's that's the unboxing. Like, I don't really know how to do these or how to end them. I feel like I've done a few now and I still don't know how to do them. Like, I still get really nervous when I do them. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my new bag. If you are thinking about getting it, feel free to drop me any questions down below if you've got any about the kind of structure of it or the size of it. Because as I just mentioned, this video is being filmed about four weeks before it's going live, so I will already have been using it for a few weeks to be able to answer any questions. And yeah, if you want to check out my other unboxings, I'll leave them all down below for you or any styling videos or anything like that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!